There we go. Now, either way, it'll look correct. Um, even if there, if it doesn't take up all this space over here, um, at least it will uh, be able to tile it down. One thing I forgot to do when I was doing this tutorial the first time was add in a black background behind the image. So you just go background. After left, you do pound and then three zeros. So that way, if this ever uh, scrolls beyond uh, the height of the actual image, it'll just continue down with black rather than uh, be all white over here. And you'll see um, that might that might occur if you try using this template for uh, any of your designs. All right, so now we have our div all style, but now we also have to do add and style our image of our car. So we're just going to do float left, and you'll see the view more button pops up. And then style our view more button. And what this is, is our add container, our div container, which contains both of these, your anchor, which is just around this view more button, and then the image within that anchor. So float left clear left so that way it goes below that image margin left and we want 4 EM and I don't think I've explained what an EM is an EM is just basically whatever your um, font size is that's what so it's gonna be um, 24 pixels tall it, an EM is one of those so whatever it is so one EM in this instant would be 24 pixels if it was 36 it would be 36 pixels um, and so on. Okay, and then we don't want a border to be blue, so we have to uh, specify one pixel solid and white. Oops, one more. There we go. So it looks a little bit better. Um, and then the last thing that we better do is add in our uh, elements. So I'm just going to copy everything in the CSS, go back into Dreamweaver, select everything, and paste it in. So that way it pastes over everything. Um, going back to my source code over here for my HTML, I need to add in my H3, which is my heading for this uh, or this ad, uh, ad that's currently selected. Um, so I'll do and go here and then below that within a paragraph tag I'm actually just going to go out and go to lipson.org which is a Latin generator and you can use this for um, styling any or adding content which you don't have content for yet but it gives the, the customer a sense of what the page will look like with content so we'll go back here and within that paragraph tag just add this in. And we'll go back out to Firefox, switch over to our page and refresh. But it's black, we don't want our ads and stuff to be black so we get to stylize that stuff. Um, so we'll edit, scroll down to the bottom, add H3, margin top any heading tag automatically has margin spacing so we don't want any on the top so it'll bump up and then we want to set our color to white and then do the same thing for our paragraph tag but I'm going to change it to a dark, uh, light gray so that way there's some different uh, difference between the header and the content of the ad all right, and then while I'm here, I'm actually going to bump these in. So we'll do margin left one em. Oh, I didn't do any float. And if you look at this, another way that when you're design or developing your page, um, you can inspect your elements. Clicking on this little arrow here, you can go out and highlight whatever you want, and you'll notice the H3 tag in my add uh, box actually spans the entire width of the page, and I don't want that. And the reason for that is because I never added a float value. Uh, where everything else is floated that contains this element, um, this one's going to take on 
an attribute of the entire page because it it doesn't uh, know to take on whatever flow values there are. Um, so we'll go back over to CSS, edit, and then scroll down, and we'll just add our float left. There we go. See, it gave it a little bit of space, but then you have the same issue with the paragraph. So float left. All right. And then because this will take on the entire width of the element, um, that's the problem with floating elements. You kind of have to uh, work with their flaws. Um, we give it a width of 55%. So 55% of whatever the page is going to be, um, that's how wide this is going to be. And then do margin left of 4 em okay kind of lost my place um, oh and then the line height so we want line height of 1.5 em and then I'll give it a little bit of spacing uh, the problem with this is if I were to do clear left, you'll see it automatically goes below this stuff because the div element that is surrounding the two images is floated left, so it's going to go below that as well. Um, so I'm actually going to bump up. I'm going to get rid of this clear and then bump up this to, let's say, 65%. Uh, maybe 75%. Uh, and now the troubleshooting get, comes in. So we have our H3 tag. Alright, I'm just going to modify this. It's going to be a little different than what I had originally planned on doing, but uh, instead of 1 EM, I'm going to do 2 EM. And I'm also going to add in a padding of, oops, padding left of 1 EM. There we go. Alright, so now if I scale this down, it looks correct, but if I scale it up, we're still having that issue where it's bumping up. Um, and I think what's causing that is my width of my h3 tag isn't scrolling over here so I'm actually going to do a 40 percent width which will correct that and if I look at the actual elements you'll see that this one is wide enough and then now this one is long enough so that way it'll automatically push this one down alright so now we'll continue editing our CSS and our ad is pretty much done. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is stylize our content. I'm going to copy everything. Go back into Dreamweaver. Oops. And paste it into my styles. Because now I have to go and add my content here. Um, to get those three boxes that we see in Photoshop, we have... Oops. There we go. Um, we actually have to create div tags for each one and then put the content within those div tags. So div class, because I'm reusing them. IDs should only be used once. Classes can be re uh, reused multiple times. And there's a benefit to using a class versus an ID, um, or, or at least from what I've seen. So, highlight. There we go. So we have three of our elements, and I'm just going to copy this and paste it in there. Uh, where's it? The, there we go. All right. So now we have all of our code corrected. So if I refresh, you'll see that we have our div elements, but they're not acting correct. So within content, 
I'm gonna leave that one open just in case I ever want to add anything to it. It's a good idea to pre-build your um, any styling you might want, even if there's nothing in it. You might be able to, or you might want to come back and add something, and it'll just be 